Oh, we're trying to stay extra focused this week, you know, uh, try to eliminate a lot of distractions. We know Wayne's a good team. We know we're a good team. We've both gotten better as a road trip going. Um, they got some good athletes. We got some good players. We're all ready to go. When you take a look back at week one, 22 to zero, what do you, what do you take from that, if anything? Obviously, the conditions were kind of rough, but I guess those are kind of playoff conditions like we've seen the last few weeks. Well, I don't say the conditions matter with the game. It's a game of football. People play their game. It doesn't really matter what the field is. People are going to play how they play. We run. They run. It don't matter. How much are you looking forward to, you know, a second chance to kind of, I don't want to say prove yourself against them because you won 22 to zero, but uh, just kind of assert the fact that, you know, you guys think you are better than them and you can do it a second time. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just as we as long as we play as a team, I, we're, we're going to go all the way. We, uh, our team unity is incredible. Um, yeah, I'll just say the team unity all the way. When you take a look at the last couple of weeks, what has allowed you guys to, I think, be playing perhaps your best football as a team all around at the right time of the season? Well, you know, early we lost a guy. Um, he's a big player. Um, but as the season went on, we've kind of put extra pieces together. It's a puzzle. You find everyone, and it makes the perfect picture at the end. What are you most looking forward to about Friday's game? Just getting to see them again. It's always fun to play the same team twice, see what it's going to be like. Anything else you like that, Hayden? No, let's go Saints. All right, perfect, man. Big game coming up Friday, a rematch of what we saw in week one. What are you guys really focusing on this week to get ready to face Wayne for a second time this season? Um, we're just going to play tough football and do the ball like we always do and uh, play really aggressive. Um, we're gonna, uh, Yeah, basically we're just going to keep doing what we've been doing. Take away from week one, what can you use from that week one win against this Wayne Generals team that you can use this time around? Um, I think we definitely have gotten better since then, and uh, they've definitely become a way better team since then too. And uh, I think uh, I think both teams are going to play a lot better, and I think it's going to be a completely different game. What's the focus in practice this week? What are you guys really harping on as you get ready? Um, staying together, working hard, and uh, basically yeah, keeping the team together, working harder and uh, just trying to go to state. As far as this team goes, what's allowed you guys to really kind of come together and play your best football the last couple of weeks at the most important time of the season? Um, I think really it's uh, just the teams coming together. We are uh, trying to uh, keep unity and uh, working hard, not letting up at all. And uh, just, uh, yeah. What are you most looking forward to about Friday's game? Obviously, it's a rematch. Obviously, you know, it's conference opponents. You guys are familiar with them. Um, two of the top two teams of the SAC this year. Um, I'm looking forward to it because it's going to be a really good game. Two really good teams going at it. And um, I just, best, the best team will win. Well, first of all, I mean, it's going to be a terrific matchup. Uh, you know, we're, our, our, our message to our guys is uh, we have to be great. We have to be great in all three facets. Uh, we have to, you know, play for all four quarters. Uh, every second, every minute uh, has to be uh, at our best. So uh, we've challenged our guys with, with that. Uh, as regards week one, uh, gosh, that seems so long ago. Uh, certainly the weather uh, played a factor with some of the turnovers. So we don't, we don't put much credence uh, in that. Uh, you know, you start the postseason and, uh, you know, the records go away and, and we're playing an outstanding opponent this, year, this week. So uh, we're trying to get ready. What are the focal points and what are the biggest concerns as you get ready to face Wayne for a second time? Well, I mean, you, you watch them on film and, and you see the, the things that they're able to do. Uh, obviously, their athleticism and their size, their physicality, uh, you know, even their scheme, some of the adjustments they've been making throughout the season. Uh, they're, they're playing great football right now and they're doing a lot of things very, very well. So, um, you know, uh, as we, we normally do here uh, at Bishop Dwinger, we try to get better at the things that we do. Uh, focus on ourselves, knowing that we have a great opponent coming up. As far as this Dwenger team goes, where are you at this point in the season? Where are some of the places that you've made the biggest strides? Because I think defensively you guys have been fantastic week in and week out, but it feels like the offense is really kind of uh, hitting its stride at the right time of the season. Yeah, I think there's, uh, you know, I think all along we've, we've had improvements in all three phases. I mean, uh, you could arguably say there's been a few games where even our special teams uh, made the greatest contributions. And, uh, and obviously defense has, has been consistent and, and done a great job all season. And, and offense uh, has certainly made a lot of strides, you know, obviously with some, some uh, position changes and uh, getting some guys healthy. Uh, that made the, the biggest difference on offense for us. So 
you know, overall, uh, you know, we're in a place where, you know, granted we're here in the postseason and, and uh, we feel like all three phases uh, are in a good place. Obviously, we can always get better, uh, but we're, we're healthy. Um, we feel like we, uh, we have some confidence in all three facets and we just have to ex execute. So. When you take a look at uh, just kind of the magnitude of this game, when you look at a checklist of goals team-wise at the beginning of the season, I imagine the first thing is the SAC championship. That's There's a check mark by that. Um, and then the next thing would be a sectional championship, I think, on that list. So how hungry is this team to kind of check off another big accomplishment and get a victory on Friday night? Yeah, you know, I don't think you can measure the hunger, I mean, and the excitement, you know, to be uh, playing in high school and have an opportunity to win a sectional is, is uh, you know, a tremendous opportunity and a great blessing and uh, you know I think about our seniors as you ask the question and uh, you know those guys uh, have been hungry all season and I think the, the hunger continues to grow and obviously going into Friday night uh, they know uh, the battle that that is before us uh, and they know one of those teams will uh, one of our one of the teams will come out victorious and uh, we're doing everything we can uh, to make sure that uh, you know we put ourselves in a position that that be us.